name is Christoph Hellwagner. I'm 40 years old and I brought the concept, the food concept, the um, fresh food, fast food concept in David 2015 to Austria and I'm running nine stores now. Graz, Linz, Wels and Salzburg. Yes, it was yesterday when we talked with Might about this issue and uh, we found out that from our about 120 employees only five are from Austria now. So that's a huge number of um, people working here with, with migrational uh, background. Um, the advantages are on one hand personally that I get to know other cultures, it's a personal enrichment I would say. And the other one is that um, different cultures bring different insights, um, meaning um, that we have also a lot of customers from um, other countries here um, in Austria and um, our employees know how to treat them. For instance, Bosnia, we have many people from Bosnia here in Graz and therefore I have also many um, employees from Bosnia here and they can also have a conversation between each other and that's a big advantage. Um, we have now with the migration crisis, so to say, since 2014-15, uh, uh, many people living here from Syria, from Afghanistan, um, and also uh, we employ uh, we employ many people from Syria and Afghanistan. Um, we have now around, I think, 40 people from Syria um, working for us, and. Um, they are working perfectly together and um, it makes really fun to work with them and to see them grow and to see them being thankful. Uh, there are many challenges. Um, first of it, um, I have to talk to them, obviously. I have to uh, get to know them. Um, so a basic understanding of German or English is necessary, I would say. Um, in their daily work, it, they don't have to speak German or English perfectly. And what I tried to do and what I actually achieved was um, to um, send my best people, for instance, Might, he's from Syria, in this position that he can also uh, translate and he can um, get the people in, the, in this right position. Actually, Mike is much stronger when it comes to only German is spoken in the company. So he, if, whenever he sees somebody talking in Arabic, in Arabian language in the store, he is very nervous and uh, gets annoyed and tells them to talk only German or English within the working hours because What's the problem with it if people are talking Arabian with each other? That um, German speaking people or whatever language speak, uh, speaking people are um, feeling um, not enclosed or feeling that they talk about them in a bad way maybe. So we need to speak the same language to come together as a team, which is very important for us. So. And um, since we are um, uh, like a, a franchise and we have uh, clear rules and we don't have um, to employ only people with I don't know what certificate and um, doctor degrees and so on, so, uh, so on. Um, it's a quite a, a simple job and every task is written and every task is also with pictures made. So the ability to speak German or English is not necessarily there but if you are stand it depends on the position for instance if you're working um, behind the scenes as a dishwasher you don't need to, any German or English but if you are at the cashier you need to speak to the customers so therefore it is much more important to speak German or English so I think we our, our job or my job as um, as a leader is to find the right position for everyone in our company and to promote the right people, for instance, Maid or even or Susanna or Maher, um, to promote further their people and to find the right positions for everyone. And um, since many, many people and many employers um, are speaking Arabian and I don't. Um, 
it's very good actually and this is also what makes us as a company so strong um, it's all about leadership I think um, might has has achieved that we are working together as a team so everyone knows that we are depending on each other so we focus to have always a good mood within our um, teams and if we see that uh, somebody has let's say prejudices um, we try firsthand to um, diminish these or um, we talk about it um, but if it's still not working out um, we have to quit people who have these prejudices these uh, unjust prejudices because this hurts us as a team and uh, but as i said in the beginning we don't have these problems anymore we had actually until two months ago one specific person that said i don't want to have an arabic chef this was a problem yes um, but um, the problem was solved uh, by itself i would say so um, and now we are a strong focus team and whenever somebody comes new um, he doesn't have any chance he or she doesn't have any chance uh, to uh, bring some kind of um, prejudice in because he or she would be lost with this mindset The answer is clearly no. Um, I mean, as I said, our system is very uh, detailed, systemized, so um, it is not, no problem at all. We have uh, our cooking book, so to say, our tasks written also with pictures. It's in English, it's in German, we have different languages. We even have this, um, I don't know the word in, in English, Körpersprache uh, videos, um, and we have many videos to um, help people with migrational backgrounds uh, to um, fulfill the tasks. That's a body language, not body sign language. Not sign language, right? No, sign no, language it's body, it's, 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 it's okay. body language, okay. Body language and also sign language. Because we had many uh, uh, deaf people here oh. working for us and we made um, with the European, uh, not the European, the Austrian Ministry for Internal and um, we, we maybe had a kind of um, Förderung and um, it was uh, it costed us like a few thousand do uh, euros to make the sign language these our, our our learning videos with sign language uh, just to um, give the people who are deaf and who cannot speak um, a tool to fulfill their tasks so so far we we are going here as a company because we want to involve everyone very depends on the industry as I said we are a systemized um, fast food company it is much easier for us to hire someone who is unable to speak German or English it's much harder for a classical restaurant where you need a cook where a German or English is required to learn something so um, I cannot uh, say that everyone should make it the way I do because I have it much easier than other ones, but it also depends on the personal mindset. You should try to overcome certain prejudices, meaning talk to your employees with maybe a Syrian background, Afghan background, and um, before you judge. Uh, I know, especially in the media, people from Syria, from Afghanistan have kind of um, a bad word sometimes. And there are many people in Austria um, and also in other uh, countries that have many prejudices against these people. Um, I also had once, I have to say, when we were like 100,000 people from Syria with uh, the, or Afghanistan with a uh, different cultural background and I was like, oh my gosh, this cannot work out. Um, still, I'm not quite sure if it, it's working out, it's, it's not working out perfectly, but everyone should try to give their best. And so I also tried to change my mindset towards um, a more or less 
defending strategy into up to a um, more open-minded strategy talk talking conversate conversating this is i think this is key to um, um have it, the right conversation because that's the only way we can overcome these prejudices and also the other way around i mean there are not only prejudices from austrian against the syrian so but also the other way around that people from afghanistan or syria come here and they are thinking like i don't know uh, everything is for free here which is not so they might be uh disappointed sometimes and um it's best if you talk 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 to get to know each other and to diminish this um, um, wrong or unjust um, um, meanings or thinkings about the different cultures. Yes, uh, it's not an advice only for employing immigrants, but it's an advice for any employer since we all know that um, the working force is getting less and um, we need to, um, how should I say, to make it less complicated for the employers to fulfill the tasks. So what I strongly would recommend is to systemize every step so that everybody could do it. Meaning, if you run um, a restaurant, you should also try to make it step by step so that also a student with no um, background in the gastronomy can fulfill the tasks um, that German or English is not necessary. So maybe also with a tool of making some learning videos so that everybody can see and adjust to the task. Um, I think this is a general um, advice and, and many uh, many companies in the in different industries are now adopting it um, because they all see we are all faced with the same um, problems that the working force is um, diminishing in and also the tasks um, that are so complex and so um, hard to to, 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 to to achieve to its fullest now have to be um, what's the right word for it to be less complex and to be simplify. written simpler yes yeah, simplify okay. simplify the tasks make it um, make some tools that uh, help your employees to fulfill it as you wish that would I what, what, what I would recommend wow.